How much of the train wheel is going to touch the ground? I'm gonna try. Tilt. Tilt. Yeah. Tilt. 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 Yeah, right there. Okay. You know I went up? Yeah, it yeah. But I can flatten them. Huh? You gotta watch. I can't. It's you're not gonna be able to hear me either. Yeah, that looks good. That's good. Let's see how flat we got it. I felt like that one did a lot better. Yeah. Can you push it off right here? You're not going to carry it down. Dude, don't. Oh my god. What a beast. Dude, that thing probably weighs 100 pounds, if not more. <laughs> We're gonna recut that thing. Yeah, see that, that looks better. Yeah, that looks real good. It's, it's off by about an inch but going up yeah but it's okay it's all right yeah like it's this, okay right? yeah it's okay but i'm glad There it goes. Look at you, man. Oh, look. Did I get the right circumference? Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty guy. <laughs> <laughs> So did, did we chunk your blade? No. Dude, golly, I tried. No, it's fine, dude. <laughs> totally gives it character. <laughs>
So today is cleanup after the uh, Jared storm. The Jared storm filling our pleasure quotas with man glitter. These are the cookies from cutting off the pine or the uh, oak tree. And right now I'm sealing them so they can dry properly. And then at some point I'll put them on the CNC and flatten them out and make shelving out of them. That's one side. Let that dry a couple days. I'll flip them and get the other side. I just finished uh, covering strawberries in my little seedlings. This will hopefully be the last freeze of the year coming tonight, I hope. Man, why does this always happen? As soon as these things bloom, then we get a frigging freeze. So these little guys are pieces of crap. Don't waste your money unless you have like a micro window that doesn't weigh anything. Um, they're about 30 bucks. These are $120 a piece, but they'll lift 135 pounds or whatever. So uh, time to put these on and try and tune it. Hey, they're working. Yay. I apologize for not getting any video of Chris working hard, weed whacking, cleaning, beautizing, uh, except for this mess here, but that's for a later time. But yeah, this was a damn mess, big mess. Now, um, it's getting ready for a summer garden. And here he comes. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm trying to get a grip on the greenhouse. I just started trying to clean it up a little bit. It's a mess. It's a mess. My stereo blew up. I, we were working on the garden the other day and uh, my stereo, my big ass old stereo blew up. So I got this $29 one off Amazon. I also got a uh, uh, little rototiller for the garden here. It works great. It's kind of tiring, but it uses DeWalt batteries. It's not a DeWalt unit, but it was a hundred bucks. Can't beat that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. It went through a battery. It went through a eight amp hour battery before I could finish. So it, it gobbles it up, but man, that thing chews through this all the way down. It's great. Okay, all right, it's all like mulched up now. And I've added, uh, what is it, cow manure and soil. And I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna put some other fertilizer down once I get this all raked out. This thing, it certainly does well, now it's a little moist out here but this thing certainly does fill up with uh with all the roots and stuff and then it's muddy a little muddy Wow, 
so I just roto-tilled and and yeah it's full of roots but now it's all it's all mixed in and ironed out and gonna lay down some uh, irrigation and then cover it in plastic and get some stuff cranking in the in the greenhouse to plant Good girl. This is the second monster burn pile. I don't know if it'll catch. Most of it's green, but there was some grass, some dried grass. So we'll see if uh, if it'll catch the pile or not. I kind of doubt it will. So I've removed all of the planter boxes, cut all the irrigation. Um, time to give this fence a little bit of attention. Uh, it needs to be pressure washed and then stained. So all of these got to go. I mean, I can cut them off and they'll keep growing, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, this is just an absolute mess. They were never trained properly. This one broke this piece out. Um, and then the top completely rotted. You can see that it's split and... Uh, Oops. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can see it's it's pretty bad off. Um, all of them are rotten. So it needs protection. It needs stain. It needs pressure washing. So that's a project. Well, it's all pressure washed. Um, it just finished raining, so it's it's kind of wet out here. So it's uh, very dark, but uh, the wood color is very dark, and, and it's actually a lot lighter when it dries, but it, like I said, it just got done raining. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. I'm still trying to catch up on all these videos, and um, I'm marching right along. So we got a little bit of gardening in here. Um, as far as those round biscuits, uh, the cookies off the top of that tree, I'm gonna cut a notch in the actual trunk of the tree that's still there. 
and then I'm going to insert those as shelves in those notches. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. And I think I want to save the, um, the bark and the moss that's growing on it. So I think I'm going to get some resin, some pouring resin and, uh, brush that over everything so I can preserve, um, this beautiful moss and, and I think it'll be a great addition to the indoor cooking area I'll show you look how beautiful that is I mean it really is beautiful all that moss so I want to preserve it so I'm gonna seal it in resin if I can anyway thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one